Imagine a country known for its snowy winters, stunning landscapes, and friendly people aspiring to be a superpower. It might sound like a far-fetched idea, but that is exactly what Canada has set its sights on. As we delve into the reasons behind this goal, we can't help but wonder what motivates a country with such a peaceful reputation to strive for global dominance? Is it the desire for greater influence and recognition, or a belief in the potential for Canada to positively impact the world stage? Join us on this journey as we explore the history, economy, and international relations of Canada and discover why this nation is determined to become a superpower. But before we start, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay connected. So without further ado, let's get started. Canada's history as a country can be traced back to the 16th century, when European explorers began to explore and settle in the region. French explorers such as Jacques Cartier and Samuel de Champlain arrived in the early 17th century and established settlements in the regions now known as Quebec and Acadia. The colonization of Canada by European powers began primarily for the purpose of trade, particularly the fur trade. The French developed a close relationship with the indigenous peoples in the region and established trading posts and settlements. Meanwhile, the British also established their own settlements and began to govern the country. In the late 18th century, the British took control of Canada from the French, and the country became a British colony. This period was marked by tension between the British colonizers and the French-speaking residents of Quebec, who had different cultural and political values. In 1867, Canada became a confederation when the British North America Act was passed, uniting the colonies of Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. This marked the beginning of the modern era of Canada's history, with the country expanding westward and establishing a national railway system that connected the east and west coasts. The desire for greater independence and self-governance grew in Canada in the early 20th century. The country participated in both World War I and II and experienced significant changes in its economy and society. Canada became a welfare state, providing health care, education, and other social services to its citizens. In the latter half of the 20th century, Canada's political and social landscape continued to evolve. The country adopted multiculturalism as an official policy in 1971, and in 1982, the Canadian Constitution was repatriated, granting Canada full independence from Britain. Today, Canada is a diverse and multicultural country with a strong economy and a high standard of living. It continues to play an important role in the international community and is known for its commitment to human rights, environmental sustainability, and peaceful diplomacy. Canada is the second largest country in the world by land area covering an expanse of over 9.9 .9 million square kilometers. Despite its vast size, Canada has a relatively small population of just over 38 million people. The country's population is diverse, with approximately 22% of Canadians identifying as visible minorities, including Black, Indigenous, and people of Asian descent. Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver are the three largest cities in Canada, each with a population exceeding 1 million people. Toronto is the most populous city with over 2.7 million people, followed by Montreal with over 1.7 million people, and Vancouver with just over 650,000 people. Canada has a strong economy with a GDP of approximately 1.8 trillion Canadian dollar. The country is a leading exporter of natural resources, including oil, natural gas, and timber, which have historically been the driving force behind the Canadian economy. However, in recent years, Canada has shifted towards a knowledge-based economy, with industries such as finance, technology, and telecommunications becoming increasingly important. The Canadian government has implemented various policies to encourage innovation and attract foreign investment, resulting in a thriving startup scene in cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. In addition, the country has a highly educated workforce, with over half of Canadians possessing a post-secondary degree. Canada's economy is closely tied to the United States, with approximately 75% of Canada's exports going to its southern neighbor. However, the country has been making efforts to diversify its trade relationships with the signing of the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, 
CPTPP, and the Canada-European Union Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. CETA. Canada is a bilingual country with both French and English recognized as official languages. This means that all federal government institutions, including the courts and parliament, provide services in both languages. The bilingual nature of the country reflects its history, with French explorers and settlers first arriving in what is now Canada in the 16th century. Bilingualism is seen as a valuable asset in Canada, as it allows for communication and understanding between different regions and cultures. Canada's journey toward becoming a modern and prosperous country has been shaped by various factors, including its abundant natural resources, high-quality education system, and skilled workforce. The discovery of natural resources such as oil, natural gas, and minerals played a critical role in Canada's economic growth. Canada is the world's fourth-largest producer of oil, and the natural resources industry accounts for a significant portion of the country's GDP. The industry has also provided job opportunities for many Canadians, including those in remote areas. Another factor that contributed to Canada's development into a modern country is its education system. Canada has a high-quality education system that emphasizes critical thinking, creativity, and innovation. The country is home to many world-renowned universities and colleges, such as the University of Toronto, McGill University, and the University of British Columbia. These institutions attract students from around the world and help produce a highly skilled workforce. Moreover, Canada's healthcare system, which provides universal healthcare coverage, has also contributed to the country's development into a modern nation. The healthcare system is funded by the government and is accessible to all Canadians, regardless of their income or social status. In recent years, Canada has also been focusing on developing a knowledge-based economy, with a growing emphasis on industries such as technology, finance, and telecommunications. The government has implemented various policies to encourage innovation and entrepreneurship, resulting in the growth of startup ecosystems in cities like Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. Canada is widely recognized as one of the most attractive countries in the world for immigrants. The country's reputation as a tolerant, multicultural society, combined with its strong economy and high standard of living, has led to a steady stream of newcomers from all corners of the globe. One of the key factors that make Canada an attractive destination for immigrants is its immigration system. The Canadian government has implemented policies designed to attract highly skilled workers, entrepreneurs, and investors, with the goal of growing the economy and strengthening Canada's position as a global leader. One of the most popular pathways to immigrating to Canada is through the express entry system, which allows skilled workers to apply for permanent residency based on their age, education, language proficiency, and work experience. In addition, Canada offers a number of programs designed to attract entrepreneurs and investors, such as the Startup Visa Program and the Immigrant Investor Venture Capital (ITUC) pilot program. Canada's reputation as a multicultural society is another key factor that makes it an attractive destination for immigrants. The country has a long history of welcoming newcomers, and its diversity is celebrated as a source of strength and richness. Canada's commitment to multiculturalism is enshrined in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which guarantees the rights of all Canadians to practice their own culture, religion, and language. Canada has a proud history of contributing to peacekeeping efforts and playing an active role in conflicts around the world. During World War I and II, Canada made significant contributions to the Allied war effort, sending troops, resources, and supplies to support the cause. In more recent times, Canada has played a key role in the war in Afghanistan, sending troops to help stabilize the region and rebuild the country. Canada has also been involved in the fight against ISIS, with Canadian troops participating in airstrikes and training local forces in Iraq and Syria. In addition to its involvement in military conflicts, Canada has a long-standing commitment to international peacekeeping efforts. The country has participated in numerous peacekeeping missions around the world, including in Cyprus, the Congo, and Haiti. Canada's commitment to peacekeeping is rooted in its belief in the importance of diplomacy and nonviolent conflict resolution as means of maintaining global stability and security. As Canada continues to pursue its ambitions, 
It will be interesting to see how the country's unique identity and values shape its path toward becoming a true superpower. What are your thoughts on Canada's aspirations? Do you believe that Canada has what it takes to become a superpower in the 21st century? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. We will meet you soon in a new video.